Now the devices I want to show you today are fairly simple and they're easy to make. This piece starts with either a plastic or a metal can that has the bottom cut out and it's simply attached to this small wooden board. Over the end is going to go this half a balloon and it's going to be held in place by this rubber band. There we go. Boy, that was quick. And finally, this little plastic mirror is taped onto the surface. On the other end, I'm going to tape this laser down and it's going to be on a slight angle. The tape's going to hold the laser button on and I'm simply aiming it right for that mirror. Now, with a little bit of smoke, we can see the incoming beam and the outgoing beam. It's that outgoing beam that's going to form the patterns for us. Now, to use this, I'm simply going to aim that laser at the back wall and make sounds into it. Frequencies. Now, these might be a little bit hard to see in the video, so I think it might be better if I try these in the dark. Now, if I talk into it, and I keep my voice nice and low, I get better figures than if I talk higher. I can't see to get much up here. Let's go back down to la 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 la. Instead of me talking, let's try it with an electric piano. As would be expected, I'm getting patterns that are quite a bit bigger using a speaker, anywhere from 2 feet up to about 6 feet wide. We can also try it with a tone generator. 